Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to talk about how to making this UI using Unity Engine. Like you see, it has intro animation, loop, and out animation. Let's stop this scene. Create a new one. For this tutorial, you need to download a package that called GUI, GUI Animation Free. Okay, so open your estate store and type in the search box we and in free it will be the first result you will have so let's type we and in free and hit enter okay searching for it actually it will be the first package appear to you after you find it download it this package has a pro version for it, you can download it. We need a canvas with an image, uh, actual, not image. We need a canvas with an empty game object. This empty game object is going to hold all our static elements. The static elements is an element that don't change if we're changing the menu from main to game to option. It will still the same through all menus. Okay, we'll add an image, it will be the background. I'm using my own tablet size and designing this UI to the tablet, so it will be good for me. To make it match all other fonts, I'm going to configure the canvas color to my screen size and set a reference for high and weight. Okay, I'm going to set the uh, image spirit now from my own spirit. Okay, that's good. Create another empty game object. Fixing the first one, set the size to be 10 by 10 and be sure that the anchor point and pivot point is centered. For the main menu, make the same and for the anchor point, set it to be right center to make that hold shift and alt and read the icon rename it to be main menu create an empty game object to hold the background for the main menu okay let's be sure that it's size to be 10 by 10 and it's center in its parent and type background so I'm going to duplicate this one and rename it to be the buttons and just make sure every time you make an empty game object to hold some elements to be 10 by 10 the size and center in its parent just for the elements inside the menus okay we are going to create the background image for the main menu we will set the spirit and I am going to set the size to be the full size for the canvas and fixing its position by pulling the X axis. I will add another image and this image will be the title. I'm going to set its size and its spirit. First the spirit and second the size to be 450 and 250. I will set its position using the arrows and like you see we will add the last element inside the background it will be the character I'm going to put its spirit and set its size to be 500 500 and fixing its position for all elements we just put inside the background we make sure its anchor and pivot point center to its parent for the buttons we are creating a new button deleting its text set and set the size to be squared so 150 150 i'm going to set its spirit then set its position using the arrows and just duplicate it three times to have four buttons it is paired for the buttons and its position 
keep in mind that the most important thing about UI it's anchor position and it's pivot point position if you set that right then the GUI will act just like you are expect so if you want to animate it from the right its anchor position and pivot point position must be right and every element after that parent it must be set center the prefab called the GUI says we and M system free I will set the ideal time to 10 seconds this will affect the loop animation I will add a GUI and M free script to the static elements I will use fade in and fade out as animation for this I will set the time for two the delay time for one and for the move uh, for the fade out I will use two for the time and zero for the delay I will check fed children to affect the children of this elements okay for the main menu I will add the GUI anime free script and I will use move in and move out for the move in I will set the position X to be 960 and for the move from to be in local position and the east type to be liner I will set the delay type delay time to be 2 and the time to be 3 for the move out I will do the same thing I've done above and I will just set the time without delaying okay that's good let's play this and check what we have okay we have the fade out we have the menu animating in I think it's good let's animate the button now and animate the background I think the background don't have to be animated just the title and the character I will add the GUI anime free and using the scale loop the scale loop now will take effect only for 10 seconds if you remember that we have put 10 seconds inside the GUI anime system free for loop time I will set the max for X to be 1.1 and for the character I will set it to be 1.08 and 1.08 for the Y and for the Z it will be 1 I don't want it to scale in Z because we don't see it okay I think the background is done let's add the GUI anime free script for the buttons I will use scale in and scale out for the scale in I'm gonna set the delay let's counting the time if we have two seconds in move in and three seconds also that's equal to five so we will set the delay for five okay that's good not five move and five in scale in and for the delay I don't think I will set it here it will be five point two five five point twenty five that's good for the second one five point five and for the last one five point seventy five if we play the animation now uh, for the button one I set it for six that will make it better I think let's see now oops <laughs> that's a big wrong for the last button okay let's fix that and make it at five okay or just fixing that and making all at six that will make them better so they will appear when the main menu appear if we just play the animation now I think we have what we want so far that's it I think now it's a good good animation uh, actually we have a small bug with the 
out animation we will fix that now so for the out animation we are going to set them sequentially one by one so 0 0.25 0 0.5 and the last one 0 0.75 or 75 <laughs> it's okay let's play the animation now okay guys don't forget to subscribe my own channel and like the video and share it thanks for watching